So this is Liverpool Lime Street Station behind me. I've just left it and I'm now going to go out and I'm going to explore Liverpool. I want to try and get across to the side of the River Mersey and see Liverpool from across, you know, a Birkenhead kind of shoe or maybe New Brighton. But it is 22, 1 in the afternoon and I'm sure I've got plenty of time to explore Liverpool today. So let's go on an adventure and explore Liverpool. The King's Liverpool Regiment. Afghanistan, 1878. South Africa, 1999. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn at the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. But Liverpool is a very friendly city. The people are very friendly. It's a little bit... Manchester's got friendly people, don't get me wrong. But some parts of Manchester appear to be more menacing. Whereas, like, the city of Liverpool itself, it definitely has that, what's called, the diverse culture in it. But, yeah. Beautiful city, I'm just going to have a look and eye out over the River Mersey. So, as we can see, all the tourists are taking their photographs. And I believe that's what Liverpool is. I believe Liverpool is there. Was it European City of Culture? I think that's the title Liverpool got. But yeah, everybody's here. And stunning day. The only thing about this day is that these, these little flying bugs that are pretty annoying. Now obviously we're by the riverfront, the River Mersey. But these little flying bugs, if you open up your bag, they're freaking flying into your bag. And basically, you don't want to be taking them home, right? So yeah. I'm definitely going to have to leave this area now and get the train and head over towards, I think it's Merry Bridge, Merry Pool or Birkenhead, we'll choose. But yeah, guys, look at this day. Really wish you guys were here. So if I'm correct, I have to go to Liverpool Central train station in order to get the train across the River Mersey. So again, I've got to go to Liverpool Central train station and get the Mersey Rail train across to the other side of the River Mersey.
I can tell you this, guys. Everybody in Liverpool is 100% chilled. Everybody's just chilled out enjoying this heat wave that we've got. As a matter of fact, it's that chilled. I've just seen a woman basically eating a lunch and the seagull was just sat there like a pet, like your dog or your cat, just waiting for the woman to feed the seagull. Crazy. Okay. So I see my first Merseyside police fan. And mate, yeah, these guys were all chilled today. Whoa. Mm, this way. I've just got off the train at a place called New Brighton and New Brighton looks pretty cool. It seems to be like a beachfront. So if I turn around here, guys, look down here. So that's the coast. So it's gonna be interesting to see what it looks like down here. I wonder if you can see Liverpool City from here. If I sent the drawing up, Am I going to be able to see Liverpool City? I don't know, I'll have a look. But what was pretty cool was, walking down this road, I seen the ship coming in. Now, I've not yet chased the ship with the drone. Now, if I did do that today, then I'll be using the DJI Mavic Mini 3 Pro, which is a very light drone. But guys, yeah, I'm at a place called New Brighton. It's going to be interesting, this one, guys. So the wind here is definitely a lot more windier than what it was at Liverpool City. But I don't think it's that bad. If I have a guess, I think it's going to be about what? 30 mile per hour gusts I'm, I'm feeling here. But yeah, there's even a windsock over here so we can uh, see how the wind's blowing. Basically what is it? I just don't want to send the DJI Mavic 3 Pro out over there to chase a ship or something and then it starts to fight against the wind but yeah here's the windsock right here so you can see what i'm seeing you see guys there's the windsock so that's currently what it's uh, blowing at so this is where we are we're at a uh, marine point and they welcome okay so we're at marine point Seems to be quite a few people around here. It's not that busy, but it's pretty busy. Now I can definitely see this, ah right, this is a port. So right over there in the distance, I can see it. I can see a cargo ship. Oh guys, this looks stunning. This does look stunning. Let me show you this, look at this guys. Okay, look what I see. This is exactly what I've needed to see 
today. Look at this. So over there, that's the docks. So that's a cargo ship right over there. So I might get my drone up and see what we can see. But again, the drone will be having to fight this wind. I know the drone can manage, but I just couldn't go out far. And yeah, there's people actually down there on the beach that's just chilling. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. But look, right down there, can you see the ship coming in? You see that ferry coming in? We'll walk down and we'll have a look. And obviously there's some kids there on skateboards and the dogs ain't happy. You know, people should have their dogs on the lead. All these people are happy. <laughs> I've just been talking to a bloke and he was so helpful. I told him I came up from Manchester and then I left Liverpool to come here. And he thought that I was lost and I was trying to go back to Liverpool. So he's trying to say, you can get the bus, you can get the train and all this. Very friendly. But guys, these people are all so chilled. It's such a gorgeous day. People are just chilled, it's just relaxing. It's good, it's good to see that there's no pandemonium. And I've just spotted down here, there's people on the beach. And yeah, there's a handful of people on that beach. I might go down and have a look. Check it out, guys. Looks to be some kind of fort there. Got the beach there. We've got a lighthouse. Behind it, there seems to be some form of a dock. I really do want to get the drone up. I want to get the drone up here, but I'm telling you, it's pretty windy. And I know that the controller is going to be saying to me, high winds fly with caution. So I think if it did do a flight here, I think it's basically straight up and then bringing it straight back down again. The reason being is because I will be focusing too much on fighting the wind and the battery drainage of the aircraft to basically enjoy a flight. But yeah, this, this, is, this is cool guys. This is a beach, there's about what, I don't know. Let's say about 99 people on that beach. Everyone's chilled. It's a beautiful day, and yeah, I'm going to enjoy this, this part of the day. So just look at this, guys. Look at this for a few. I've got a port in the back of me with the cargo ship. I don't know if it's being loaded or unloaded, but best of all, I've got sand. I didn't think I'd be walking on the sand today and that sand is so dry. That sand is really, really dry. Yeah, I'm gonna be going home tonight with uh, sand in my shoes. Guys, I'm out today, I'm testing out a new camera, so I've invested in the GoPro Hero 11, which is what I'm recording on now as I'm speaking to you. The microphones I'm using is DJI microphones. I forget which version of mics they are, but yeah, I made the investment and I bought them, and this is the first time that I'm using the microphones for a vlog, and it's the first time that I'm using the GoPro Hero 11 to for their blog. Now here's the interesting thing with regards to the GoPro. It does have a spot meter in it, which is cool. I worked that out today, how to use the spot meter function of the GoPro Hero 11, and that's fantastic. Now the auto exposure and manual exposure, I still need to work that one out. There's some stuff why I don't like about the GoPro Hero 11, but the positives about it at the minute is saying that it is a pretty good camera. So I've basically came over from what we call, let me just pick you up, let's walk and talk, yeah? Let's walk and talk. So let me switch on the screen so we can see. So I've came from the DJI 
park it, okay? So the reason why I went with the GoPro Hero 11 is because I wanted something that would be more weather resistant. And the GoPro 11 was ticking all these boxes. So I've came from the Pocket 3, which is an amazing bit of kit, over to the GoPro Hero 11. And again, it's like I've said, I'm testing it out today. This is top, look at this. Somebody has been digging sand, sand holes. Let's hide and see if we get a seagull. Only choking, but that is a good uh, firewall video. But yeah, look at this, guys. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. This is what it's about. This is what I've needed for quite a while. This out, the fresh air, get it into my lungs and basically just see scenery like this. Look at that. Turn over here. And we can see over there as well. Turn around. That looks epic. Oh, look at that shot there. That's an epic shot. So I might even just get that shot with the drone send it up in the sky. Guys, I'm going to cut the video now because I'm going to fly my drone. Wish me luck. So seriously, what was I worrying about? The DJI Mavic Mini 3 Pro is absolutely an amazing aircraft. As soon as I took off with this aircraft in these winds, which again, you know, is uh, what I'm feeling is pretty, pretty, it's basically these are the wind speeds where I don't like flying in, okay? But wow, as soon as I took off this little drone, instilled nothing but confidence in me. It was saying, hey guys, you can enjoy your flight. And that's exactly what I've done with this little drone. And the beauty is, I'm gonna have this little drone taken off again in a minute, and hopefully we're gonna fly out and get the city of Liverpool's photograph from a distance which I've wanted to take it from, which I've not been able to do in the past. Not only that, but I also see some form of ship coming in in the distance but obviously that ship was going for the docks so I think I won't chase it but guys this is awesome the DJI Mavic 3 Mini Pro really is a good bit of kit I don't know if you see that but there's Liverpool City right in the distance over there's the docks so there's the docks and over there is the city Looks awesome, doesn't it? So I've just been talking to uh, two real nice people uh, about my drawing. And it turns out they actually uh, 
rent out their property, you know, uh, for your holidays. And guys, look at this, right? Have a look at this. So that's the few which you see, okay? That's the few what you see. And you see this white house just here? That's the house where you can rent for your holidays. I'll put some uh, information up on the channel so you can see more information about this, but that'd be epic, having a holiday here, renting the accommodation, and then having all this right on your doorstep. It's a no-brainer, guys. So yeah, that's it. I'm winding down the video. I'm going back to your train station. Then we're going to get back to Liverpool. Then we're going to be making my way home and that's the end of the day. Girls, do you know where the train station is?